I thought we'd go over the topic of photographs once again because some of you might really be photo buffs and if you are, wax and photography goes great together. I am partial to statues and faces, uh, statue faces, because they seem to turn out so well. Let's just look at a couple examples here. Uh, I was in a store and had my camera with me and I saw this statue and I said, hey, that's perfect, snapped it and uh, came home, started waxing it, and you can see there isn't a lot of wax on this photograph, just brushes here and there over the faces. I always put transparent wax down first. That gives a nice surface and protects the image, and then you can apply other wax on top. But it just creates a wonderful soft effect, even though you're not using a lot of wax. Here's another case, uh, which was a garden statue. <clears throat> just one of those cement garden statues that uh, is in the backyard and again taken the JPEG, take it to the print shop, tell them to blow it up on shiny cardstock and then put wax on it. What you get you know is a uh, piece of shiny cardstock like this and you can see where I'm just starting to do some wax over the top of this after I've put clear wax over the whole image. So I'll continue to work on this to get different effects and see if I can't find something that just uh, appeals to my eye. If it doesn't, if you mess it up, it's no big deal because it's just uh, a copy of an image and you can go get another one and start all over again. So nothing lost.